on this one, he doesn't, so. Okay. Are we good? We're cool. rolling? Rolling! Hey, I'm Brian from Hackaday, and here we got Matt Stoltz. 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 And he's been going through a whole bunch of materials that you can 3D print. How would you describe that face? All right, so uh, we are trying to push what you can do with 3D printers by, uh, instead of just tweaking around on the printers themselves, changing the materials that we're using so that we're using more advanced materials to uh, leverage the uh, physical and chemical properties of those materials uh, to be able to do a lot more with our 3D printers. So beyond the standard uh, uh, ABS that we have, we have some, some kind of uh, specialty materials like a conductive ABS, uh, and of course normal PLA, but we also have uh, wood infused PLA and some PLAs that that also feel like sandstone um, All right, yeah, yeah, so we also have a sandstone PLA uh, On top of that we have uh, Hips, which is high impact polystyrene uh, and hips has some really great functionality that we can print hips and ABS together in one salt in one print using a dual extrusion machine and we can use the hips as a support material. Hips is dissolvable in a, a natural solvent called limonene, which comes from orange peels and lemon peels. Uh, and when we dissolve it away, we can be left with only the ABS behind, giving us the ability to print overhangs that would not typically be, be capable of being printed on a normal FDM printer without having extreme droop. This also means that we can print more mechanics along with it by being able to print the mechanics and then separate the mechanical portions away from each other by dissolving away any support material from the limonene. Uh, we've also started experimenting with uh, Tallman's Pet uh, Tea Glaze, which is a, a very strong but, but food safe material. Uh, it's the same material that plastic water bottles are normally printed out of. And one of the, the real exciting ones is, is printing in nylon. Uh, nylon has a little bit of flex to it, but it's very unreactive with un other materials. So uh, being able to direct print molds and cast urethanes into them, as well as uh, being able to use it for its, its strength characteristics because it's very, very strong. So leveraging all of these materials and how we combine them together, we can try to do a lot more with our 3D printers. Okay. And just to, because this is the only piece of lay brick that exists at Maker Fair. It feels like very lightweight room temperature sandstone, which is bizarre. So, but it does feel like brick-ish. Yeah. So, okay. And this, the lay wood feels like somebody took a rasp to MDL. Yeah, that's so, yeah, that's a very good way to, yeah. to put it. Okay. So, so we're, we're doing all of our research at 3D Printing Providence, uh, a 3D printing meetup group in, in Providence, Rhode Island. So you can check us out at 3dpvd.org. We should probably cut it now. <laughs>